peace and blessings, love and light to all. I just want to share a few things, try to enlighten you guys if I can. Today is, I don't know, I lost track. I don't know if it's day 12 or day 14 of this quarantine. I'm learning a lot. I'm learning a lot about my family. I'm learning a lot about myself. I'm just trying to stay creative, uh, stay busy, stay positive. I love the way God made me in the sense that he gave me a lot of talents. And I encourage you all to find out to dig deep and see what are those talents that you have. We all have talents, we're all gifted. I love to get fly, man. Like, let me not try to be proper about this. What I'm learning is that none of that matters. I've been in my house for, I don't know, like I said, 10, 12, 14 days, other than just stepping out to uh, Walmart to buy food for my family. I haven't been able to get a haircut. Obviously, all of the barbershops are closed. I'm just thankful to God that um, I have several talents, and one of them is, You all know, if you're a close friend of mine, you know that I'm a barber. I haven't been able to go to a barber shop and pretty much take care of myself and um, worry about my appearance because honestly, who cares? It's not important. There's people dying. There's people in the hospitals getting sick. There's families suffering, friends suffering, people losing their jobs. Who cares about a haircut or clothes or cars? Nobody cares. I certainly don't care. One of the things that I'm going to do today is I'm going to cut my hair finally. Other than the fact that my kids and my wife uh, keep telling me to please shave or do something, find a way to look clean because it's driving them crazy to see me like this and they're not used to seeing me like this. But I'm kind of enjoying the, the fact that there's no pressure for me to look a certain type of way before I step out. I guess this is one thing that I'm enjoying as far as the quarantine is the family time. I'm getting a lot of rest but I don't have to worry about my appearance, look good at work, going to the barbershop, waiting in line to get a shape up or a haircut. So today I'm gonna to do it myself. So just wanted to invite y'all into my journey in my bathroom. Let's get busy. Some of the essentials to cut your own hair. Oh, that word essential gives me the creeps these days. Look, I know y'all traumatized too, it ain't just me. Whenever you hear the word Quarantine now, essential, non-essential, distancing. Like when all of this is over and we blessed enough to still be here, we're going to be traumatized, y'all. I know I ain't the only one. Couple words I never want to hear again. Essential, quarantine, virus, stay home. I don't want to hear none of that stuff ever again, bro. Ever again, bro. So these are some of the essentials. <laughs> Boom. Obviously, you're going to need this. You know what I mean? You need a mirror. Make sure it's nice and wide so that you can cover your whole profile. Then you need another mirror right here. Medicine cabinet mirror, right? Boom. Believe it or not, my people, if you've been my friend for the past 25 years, you remember this. It's the same one I used in the barbershop. This is it right here. Here, I like to use two different ones. What I like to do is I wash my face out with cold water just to get the sweat off my forehead to make sure I get into the skin. Pause. For those of y'all who um, can't get to a barbershop, man, yo, survival of the fittest, B. What you do is go to YouTube and type in, how do I cut my own hair? I've been cutting my own hair since I was like 11 years old, 12 years old. I started off cutting my dad's hair, Zeke and him, and burning his forehead with the shaper machine. Y'all know me for 25 years. Y'all know about that too. I know I zeked a lot of y'all, burnt a lot of y'all forehead. So you just start the process by uh, brushing everything down after you rinse your face off with cold water. Get the skin nice and dry. Oh. And then once everything's cold, you comb your face, right? If you're lucky enough to have a nice, sexy beard, goatee, whatever you have, boom, boom, boom. You comb the eyebrows if you're the type of guy that shape up your eyebrows. I know I do. Don't hate. I don't care what y'all think about that. It makes the face look sexy. Boom. Right, and after you do all this fly stuff, then you start the process of cutting your hair. Let me show you. This is the Hair Club for Men goodie basket. It's got the oils for the clippers and everything. Keep your machine lubricated. Wow. Pause. I got all my clips in here. Fully loaded clips. Ready to bust off. Pause. Boom. Essential. Essential. To me, the most important clips is the one, two, and three. To me. Every barber's different. Boom. Dun, 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 dun. Ta-da! Oh yeah, the Cool Care Blade Coolant. Spray the machine up. You hear that? Oh yeah, smells good too. Showtime! Woof! 
gang. I'm excited, about to get a facelift. My kids and my wife will be way more excited when they see me looking normal again. Cause right now, life is not normal. I just need a peace of mind right now. I don't wanna hear nothing, no music, no TV, nothing. I just wanna chill, relax, and just listen to the machine roaring while I'm getting pretty. You know what I mean, if I'm gonna start off with the purple number two clip, just to get everything even. Then I'll start trimming the sides, then work my way down to the shape up. And I always do the tape up last after the shape up because when I carve out the shape up, that tells me where to do the tape up, if that makes any sense. Barbers, you know the slang. Number two is usually my favorite hair length on top because it leaves room for you to get them waves depending on what type of hair you got. I like my hair to be wavy, you know what I mean? Wavy. Okay, once you're done smoothing out the top, depending on what length you want to cut it. In my case, like I said, I like to use the number two. Uh, I don't like to go down too low. Then I go to the one and a half. And I use this for the sides, to trim down the sides, to give it that nice lean, you know what I mean? Then I get to the shape up. Once I do the shape up, like I said, then I get to the tape up. Don't mind my gray hairs, y'all. I done had gray hairs since I was like 14 years old. I have a lot more now than I'm 43, obviously, but with this pandemic, I probably have a full head of gray hairs in the next 10 days. <sighs> Only God knows. For those of you who are not fortunate enough to be able to cut your own hair for whatever reason, or you don't have any experience trying to cut your own hair, or you just, it's something you're not into, and you'd rather go to the barbershop. Well, guess what? There ain't no barbershops. So it's time for you to be creative. Take the time out to try to cut your own hair. You get yourself a nice little entry level machine like this, a wall for like 50 bucks. You get this shape of machine for a hundred bucks. The Black Andes, the T-Line. This thing gives you some serious shape ups. Like I said, man, YouTube tutorials. If you mess up your own hair, who cares? You locked up in the crib anyway. You ain't going nowhere for the next 30 days. Your hair's gonna grow back. You be all right. Try it out, man. You never know. You might just become the illest barber in your town. And this could be something you could do for a living. I know a lot of successful barbers, baby. I, at a certain point, I was the go-to guy in my neighborhood. So now we're gonna go to uh, phase three, which is the number one clip to lean with it, rock with it. Boom, number one. Slap that baby on here, slap that bad boy on here. And there's levels how you can do it, right? So you can go one or one and a half. One or one and a half. I like to go with the one and a half on the sides, just going down, just to lean with it, rock with it. Lean with it, rock with it. You know what I mean? And that'll give you that nice, sleek, clean, lean with it, rock with it, look. What you do is you bring this up, boom. After you done trimmed the sides at a one and a half, up, boom, up, boom, up, boom. You leave it up, and then what you do is the lower part from your temple down, you trim it down with this, and that's gonna help you get to the tape up part. Which, in my mind, besides the shape up, it's one of the most important parts because that's what gives your haircut the swag. You know what I mean? That blend, that shade, it's got to be everything. Remember, with the number one, you keeping it below the temple, not above the temple. Temple, down. Once you're done with the number one clip, right? And you're done and you feel like everything on the sides is evened out and you have an even playing field and your haircut is leaning with it, rocking with it you put this machine down and now let me tell you why this is very important this is near and dear to my heart i cut a lot of people's hair with this of course i clean it disinfect it let's not go there with that you got to be able to you want a clean canvas so you can see what you're doing so boom this is very important and like i say get it off your chest B. get it off your chest 
get it off your chest. Okay. Oh, this is also important because now what you want to do is not only brush your hair and get off all the hairs sitting on your dome, right? It also gives you a, a clean slate. Boom, now you can see what you're doing, right? You close your eyes, you don't want no hair going in your eyes, and you see what you're doing, you see what's going on. You see what type of what type of time you are, what type of haircut is on the horizon. You know what I mean? Boom, you go like this. I even do it on my face just to get ready to do whatever it is you're gonna do, whether you're gonna do a full beard. In my case, I don't grow a full beard, so I'm gonna get the ice picks, the sideburns. They look pretty cool on me too. It gives the haircut that little swag, you know what I mean? Like grown man swag, right? So once you're done doing a complete clean out and brushing your hair off like this, you got everything off, right? Then we back to this right here. Boom, very important. Hi baby, my baby's peeking at me. You happy I'm getting a haircut finally? Yes, thank you Jesus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, you interrupted my video. Love you. Okay, so boom, like I said, you grab this, you get it all off your chest. <laughs> you get it all off your chest. It's time to get to the meat and potatoes, man. That shape up, baby. That shape up before the tape up. Get your weight up. Before we get to the shape up, very important. It took me a lot of years to learn this skill set. So if it's something you can't do, then live with it. It's cool. Your haircut don't got to be perfect, especially in a pandemic, especially under quarantine. I mean, who going to see you? You? When you look in the mirror? Who cares? So what you do is the number one clip, you take it off and you leave the machine bare, right? Remember what I explained to you about the half and the zero? You put it on zero, leave it on zero. The lever all the way up, all the way up. Nothing can stop. Boom, once you leave it up, you get rid of the baby hairs, the spikes, the ones that are popping out to make your hair look uneven. You hit them with the zero. This takes a lot of skill set. Your wrist game gotta be crazy. Pause, meaning you got to have that, that balance. You gotta have that. Pulso. Oye, si tú no tienes pulso, pulso. Con el maquinongo, pulso. Te jodita, mi pana. Pulso. Pulso. Oh, so here we go. This takes a lot of skills, y'all. Don't try this at home if you're not a real barber. Why I would say don't try this part at home? Because if you drop this machine on your head while you're trying to do that, boom, now you got a big ball spot. But again, who cares? Ain't nobody gonna see you. Quarantine. You get that sleek, clean look. It's like a vacuum cleaner type of thing. Now everything looks picture perfect. Relax, we ain't there yet. But you know what I'm saying. You get the drift, you get the drill. Okay, now once you done with the zero and you got everything looking nice and neat, you wanna grab this brush and you wanna just brush down your edges because now we get into the shape up part, which is the most important part of the haircut because if you get a beat up shape up, that's like having a dope car with some beat up rims, dope outfit with some beat up shoes. Don't go down like that. Straight down as possible. Comb the back too, you gotta comb the back too because you're gonna shape up your neck too. Pause, neck game crazy. <laughs> I'm just trying to enlighten y'all and give y'all something to smile about. Maybe give you something to do or maybe even inspire you to one day become a legendary barber like myself. Who knows? Shape up time. Okay, here we go. Show time. This is the most important part of your haircut, the shape up. You gotta be precise. To me, this is time consuming because you don't wanna push your hairline back. You don't wanna make your forehead appear bigger than what it is. You wanna line it up exactly where your hairline grows. In my case today, I'm shaving everything off completely. I'ma just leave me a little ice pick or something because I'm not really into facial hair. Everybody's different. And um, I wanna have that clean look and not have to worry about shaving. I'ma just trim my mustache, line up my mustache and my ice picks, but everything else gotta go. My little peach fuzz, I might leave it in there, but everything else gotta go. Very important. Very important. For the shape up, you need one of these. This comes into play big time because you want to be able to have two mirrors to see what you're doing with your headline. The key to a nice shape up is be easy. Take your time. Don't rush it. Especially if you ain't no real barber or you ain't no expert. The hairline is the most important part of your haircut, like I said. Time to get the shape up in, man. It's the fun part to me.
starting to come along slowly but surely. So this is the side that hasn't been touched. This is the side that I'm working on. Again, lean with it, rock with it. You see what I'm saying? You starting to get the picture? Looks like I'm getting the hang of this slowly but surely. Let me give y'all a few tips real quick. You're not gonna get the perfect haircut the first time you try. Let's be realistic here. Everyone has delicate parts of their skin on their head. For me, it's behind the ears, a little wet behind the ears, pause, the back of my neck, you know what I mean? So that's gonna be a little difficult for those who are not experienced in cutting their own hair. So just take your time, man. This is a crash course. You might end up getting a bent shape up on the back of your neck the first couple of times until you get it right. But I just wanna put it out there that getting behind the ears is not easy. That sounds crazy, but you know what I mean. And the neck part, the neck, always difficult but I'll show you how we do it. Woo. The machine is hot, right? So a suggestion when you get to the delicate part of your skin on your head. Like I said, in my case, is the back of my ears and my neck. Those are my weak spots. Spray the blade, bruh. That's what you got the cooling for. It's about 10 bucks, eight bucks, whatever. Works wonders, baby. Oh yeah. As you can see, the neck is coming along. Yikes. Coming to think about it, I need a petty too. Derp. I need a homemade petty. I'm about to do my nails next. Derp, 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 derp. And once I feel like the shape up is coming along and it's looking semi tight, because honestly, you got to run that blade through, that's next level. Let's not get into that, fellas. I don't want to confuse you or even worse, discourage you. So forget about the blade and the shape up and all that. This is good enough for quarantine for me. This look is clean, it's all right. So once you get to this point, it's time to do the mustache. I don't know how you do your mustache, but this is how I do my mustache. Peach fuzz, y'all remember that from back in the days? UMCs, peach fuzz? You gotta be in your 40s to know that. I do a little combing of the eyebrows cause I'm definitely gonna clean my eyebrows. I look like a cave monster when my eyebrows get out of control. <laughs> Gotta get this down here. This look like little black cauliflower or something down here. You know what I mean? Look like Brussels sprouts or something down here. Gotta get to it. You know what I mean? <laughs> but believe it or not, fellas, that mustache and that goatee, whatever peach fuzz you got working down there, that's what gives you that clean look. That's what makes your lady want to kiss you. Watch the difference. <laughs> and the crusty donut. I'll be back. I don't know how light or dark or how shaded you like your mustache, but I don't like mine's too dark and too poked out. Them little porcupine hairs. When I look down like this, and you can see the hair popping out. That's a no-no for me. So I'm gonna give it a little trim with the with the big red machine, the war machine. Trim it down a little bit, then it's time to get to the fade. Boom, the tape up, boom, tempo down. Remember, tempo down. Back to the big red machine, back to the number one clip. Throw this bad boy on there. Boom, you keep it up on number one. No, yes. And you just trim your mustache however you want to trim it. I'm going to trim my mustache, my peach fuzz, and my ice picks.
can't tell me I don't look sexy. I might be able to get a kiss tonight. I'm sexy and I know it. I might be able to post a selfie tonight. Who knows? At the end of the day, I'm rocking right now. The haircut makes the man. The man don't make the haircut. Whatever that means. We back to the, the big rap machine. It's time to get the tape up. There's a lot of ways on how you can get a tape up. You need the number one clip and no clip. So I set it off with this, temple down, temple down. Then I throw the clip on and just fade it. Temple up, temple up, temple up, temple up. You get the drift. I went from having a terror dome to a king dome. Welcome to my terror dome. That didn't make no sense. Anyway, y'all get it. This the final look, man. Boom. It may not be perfect, you know what I mean? But it's the quarantine edition, baby. I look clean. That's all that matters. I'm gonna make some people happy in my household. I'll tell you that much. All right, here go the final results. So, although I may be talented enough to cut my hair and get free haircuts, now you see why I love going to the barbershop. Now you know why I don't cut my hair, because of this process. Imagine coming home, 12 hour shift, and going through all this. It's not easy, bro. I'm not beat. I miss the barbershop, but you gotta do what you gotta do, fellas. Hey, and to my bald headed brothers, it is what it is. Y'all ain't gotta go through this. But for some of us who got a little something, something going on still here, this is what it is, fellas. I encourage you to do it too. Have fun, peace and love, love and light. Keep God first, and let's get through this together, y'all. Peace. How do I look? The chocolate caramel thunder's back, you know what I mean? Remember what I was telling you about the waves? Mm. Mm. All right, Lawrence. All right, let's get back to work, Lawrence. Let's get back to work. Quarantine's over. Let's go. Let's go. Collar up, buddy. Collar up. Bro, we still on the quarantine? Dang. <laughs> Yo, babes. You just gonna sit there and act like I look delicious right now? You all right. Denied.